guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 32 week pregnancy update. Happy Memorial Day weekend too. I'm going to be uploading this video on Sunday, tomorrow. Today is Saturday and it kind of stinks the weather here. Um, it was like raining all day yesterday and then today it was like on and off. It's really humid and muggy outside so uh, we're not going anywhere either with the coronavirus. We're not going down the shore or anything so we are just going to be staying put. Um, just, you know, some local things. We went and got ice cream today for Adeline, and that's probably about the height of our Memorial Day weekend. If you guys can see in the backgrounds, we are getting closer to being done this little girl's room. I am so, so, so close to the finish line. I have only a few more things to get. I have to get a hamper for her. I need a little poof ottoman uh, for my rocking chair. It's something that I really wanted for her. And then I just need a few like knickknacks. Like I want a little picture frame for her little end table. And I also want a little flower arrangement, but we are so close to being done her bedroom. And then I can finally post her nursery tour because I am obsessed with her room. And it's just so, so close to being done. This week we got a lot done in here. So let's just jump in right to my symptoms. Like always, I do have a little fun box to share with you guys too. I'm really, really excited to open it up. So let's go ahead and start with some symptoms. So 32 weeks, I started having Braxton Hicks. Last time we talked, I feel like I said I wasn't getting any Braxton Hicks. I had like maybe like one, um, but I really started getting the Braxton Hicks at 32 weeks, like the full-fledged Braxton Hicks. And um, I was actually starting to get a little crampy, like it almost felt like period cramps. So that was kind of like scary. Um, and I looked it up and it said it was truly really normal. I also made sure as soon as I felt the cramps, I drank a ton of water because I did not want anything, you know, I didn't want to be dehydrated or, you know, preterm labor or anything like that. So I just made sure that I drank tons of water and uh, that always helps drinking the water with like the cramping. So, um, lots of, lots of Braxton Hicks this week. I went for a walk. So it was actually one of the first times that I was out in like, I would say public with Adeline. I have not gone anywhere with Adeline at all. Um, no Target, no, uh, shop right anywhere. Adeline has not been anywhere out in public. And when I was 32 weeks last week, we decided to go for a walk at a local park and it was completely fine like everybody was so like nice about social distancing nobody was like around us it was perfect it was a nice way for adam to get out of the house and um we just went for like a trail walk we didn't actually it, it's not like a park like jungle gym because um i did not want her on like the jungle gym i just told her it had coronavirus and she's really good with understanding what is going on and how like we can't touch things so as soon as I told her that the jungle gym had coronavirus on it, she was like, okay, and did not bug me at all. Thank goodness. So um, I packed her little scooter and we went for a walk. Well, I think that we ended up walking a solid, I'm going to say three miles. And I didn't realize that we walked that long until I got home. And I was like, wow, I, we just walked like three miles. And then I really started having uh, lots and lots of cramps and, uh, I was exhausted, my body hurt. It was like, oh my God. I probably shouldn't have done the three miles, but we were having like such a good time and I didn't feel it at the moment. Like I was just like walking and walking and walking that, you know, I just, I didn't think anything of it. Like it was just, it felt fine. And until I got home in the shower and I was like, wow, I walked three miles. That was not a good idea. Um, and like I said, my back was hurting so bad and it just wasn't a good idea. So I'm going to continue walking because it proved to me that I definitely needed to keep walking, but I probably shouldn't have walked as much as I did. I am feeling this baby girl under my ribs so bad to the point where like I can feel like my ribs expanding now. All under here, it's just like stretching and it's so uncomfortable and it actually like it's starting to hurt. Like I'm completely getting exhausted now from like my body changing mentally i'm exhausted physically i'm exhausted it just you can really tell that you're getting down to the end of pregnancy where your body just hurts everywhere even like my ribs are really hurting and i've said something about my bra in my last video how bad my bra was hurting and i think it's because like i said my ribs are literally expanding now 
Um, and it just, I, there's nothing that you can really do about it. I have switched, and this was another thing. In my last video, everybody told me to either start wearing nursing bras or sports bras. And I started wearing my nursing bras and they feel so much better than my other bra. Um, and you know, you really can't tell the difference anyway. So I'm just going to keep wearing nursing bras. That's like what I have on right now, a nursing bra. So, um, I'm going to keep wearing my nursing bra through the rest of this pregnancy because the other bra like literally hurts. This week I started trying to do some exercises to flip this baby. I know that I have a long way to go and everybody keeps telling me to be patient and just see what she does, but I figured why not just be ahead of the game rather than behind. So I started doing some exercises on the floor, like the exercise that you get on all fours and you rock back and forth. Um, my doctor actually told me about that one. I started sitting with a bag of um, frozen veggies on my belly, which I've done frozen veggies, an ice pack. I have done everything cold. Um, I sit and just do that for about like 30 minutes at a time. And what else have I done? Oh, I went to the chiropractor. Oh, amazing experience. This has nothing to do with flipping her. Um, but I went to the chiropractor and they did tell me that they can do the Webster. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's called the Webster theory or what it, exactly it's called, but they can do that. And when I was to the chiropractor, he did wonders on my back. My like I've said in previous videos, I feel like ever since I've been pregnant, my lower left back has been killing me. And uh, whatever the chiropractor did, he did an amazing, amazing job. So I definitely recommend going to a chiropractor if your back hurts because he, may, I mean, obviously do your research. Make sure that you're going to one that um, you trust and, you know, that has a really good reputation. The one that I went to, I know a ton of people that use him. So um, I had a, a wonderful experience. But back to going to flipping this little girl. So I did the exercises and I did the one where you put the pillows under your butt. And this little girl is still breech. She is not moving. So, um, I am going to go for the Webster, uh, theory. What I, I, I don't know what exactly they call it at the chiropractor where they, um, massage your pelvis area to, you know, try to open up your hips, I guess, and your pelvis. So I'm really praying that that works. I go to the doctor next week and we'll see I guess what she said because I'm going to be 33 they said at 34 weeks she'll really start flipping and then I guess we'll go from there to see what we're going to do with this little uh girl that is not determined to flip whatsoever and like I said I know I have plenty of time to um figure it out and even my doctor told me we really shouldn't worry about it until I'm 34 weeks pregnant but I just feel like I'm so scared to get another C-section that I am just trying to do everything ahead of the game to get her to flip. Extremely dehydrated. I felt like I could drink tons and tons and tons of water at 32 weeks. Like, I could just drink water nonstop. I felt like I just needed buckets and buckets of water this week. I started feeling this sciatic nerve in my left butt cheek, which is totally normal. I had it with Adon. I actually had it with Adon way sooner than I did with Ellie. And um, there's really nothing that you can do for it besides, you know, riding it out, taking some Tylenol and just, you know, normal, typical pregnancy pain. And like I said, I had it with Adon. Adon's was way worse. Thank goodness it's not that bad this time, but it just, you know, it stinks. One of the most important notes of 32 weeks is that I had Ellie's first kidney appointment with her urologist. We did it virtually. I met the doctor over the computer and she was so 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 nice like i felt so comfortable talking to her she answered all of my questions and just really explained things to me they let me know that on ellie's second day of life they're really not going to touch her on the first day of life because when babies are born they are like really dehydrated so she said that it's just really important to make sure on her first day of life that i am feeding her tons to make sure that she's peeing and then on her second day of life they're going to take her for ultrasounds um, they're going to really, you know, check out her little left kidney to see if it's uh, functioning, if it has any reflux in the uh, kidney. They also are going to be checking her right kidney to make sure that it's fully functioning and that there's no problems with the one that we don't think that there is. 
and she was just so so wonderful she really made me feel reassured that you know she's going to be completely fine I mean she didn't like come out and tell me she's going to be completely fine because you know doctors can't tell you that without actually knowing and like she said because she's not born yet they really don't know Ellie's um Ellie's problems or what you know what they're looking at but they said uh, she let me know that they see this all the time not all the time but um you know most of the babies that do have this are completely I'm always overwhelmed when I talk to doctors to begin with especially in this circumstance because it's a very overwhelming situation I'm scared to be honest so it's really nice you know to go back and listen to what the doctors were saying because I just feel so much better about her entire kidney situation and basically we're just gonna take it day by day when she's born and have our fingers crossed for the best. So this is the part that I've been waiting for. I've been dying to open up this box. This is the O Baby Boxes. These boxes are so cool. I am so happy that this company reached out to me and wanted to send me a box. Um, I never heard about them before, so I just thought it was so neat, their concept, and it's such a wonderful gift to either yourself or a mama to be, or if you know a mom to be, you can gift one of these boxes. So each o baby box is custom tailored to your specific due date, and it has over a hundred dollars worth of items starting at just thirty nine ninety nine. You can either do a three month subscription, they have a six month subscription, or you can do the month to month throughout your pregnancy. And then they also have the gift option where you can gift one of these uh, o baby boxes to a mama to be. So I think that is so cool and such a fun gift to give somebody. Like if somebody sent me this, I would be so happy and like I would think that this was the coolest thing ever. So I am going to do an unboxing. I do not know what is inside of this box. I did not open it. I made sure that I did not open it. It still has the sticker on it. I almost opened it and I was like, nope, I'm gonna do a complete unboxing for you guys. So I wanna start off with the packaging of how cute this is. Like, how pretty is this box? I just think it's so nice. It's so heavy too, there's a lot in here. So you open it up and this is what the inside looks like. How cute is this? It has the little balloons and it just, you know, congratulations, mama. So, so cute. So this is the O oh Baby, um, your guide to baby boxes third trimester. So like I said, it is custom tailored to your specific due date. So they knew that I was in my third trimester. So I'm curious to see what was like in the first and second. I wish I would have known um, about this because I would have definitely done it. And it just has everything that I'm going to need in here for my third trimester. So let's open her up. So I'll change the view for you guys. So this is what it looks like. How cute is this? Oh my God. It has the little confetti in here. It just, this is adorable. And I love, love, love this box. This box is like the packaging is perfect. So let's go ahead and start opening up what's inside of this. So the first thing that I see is obviously this super cute hat. And if you know me, you know I love hats. So this is literally perfect for me. I am in love with this. I think that this is so, so cute. Let me see. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yes. We are definitely going to be wearing this a lot throughout the rest of this pregnancy and even when this baby is here because this is so cute. And then inside of your box, you're going to get a little list of everything that is uh, inside of your box that is detailed. So this hat is number four, and this is valued at $15. Next thing in my box is this Cougar Intense Aftercare Keratin Hair Mask. Oh my god, this is literally perfect because I have been wanting one of these, but I haven't been able to go to the store with the coronavirus. So this is definitely going to come in handy. And this is retailed at $44. Oh. So this is literally perfect for the coronavirus because it says, is pregnancy giving you the worst hair days? Yes. When you need your hair softer and silkier but have no time for a salon visit. Correct, we have no salon visits going on. So this is definitely gonna come in handy. Second thing in here, or the third thing is, what is this? Oh, cute, a sugar bear hair shower cap. This is, oh, actually this is awesome. I'm going to open this up too. I'm going to see what it looks like. 
So my Sugar Bear hair cap is worth $15. And oh my god, it's so cute. This is going to be perfect for the hospital too. Like after you have the baby when you don't want to get your hair wet. Um, I'm obviously going to wash after I have her. Hopefully if I go natural because I'm sure I'm going to be nasty. Um, but this is definitely going in my hospital bag because this is going to be perfect for uh, staying in the hospital. I love this. How cute is that with all the little bears all over? So, so cute. The next thing in this box is this little tin. This is what it looks like. And it says it's from Huge Shop in Botanica Perennial Solve. It is retailed at $10. And it says growing and giving birth to your baby is magical. But amidst the happiness and excitement, there's that not so pleasant perennial swelling, tearing, and bruising. So this is probably definitely going to come with me to the hospital if I go V-back. So fingers crossed that I go V-back. So this is what it looks like when it's open. It's like literally, it looks like lip balm. It smells so good too. It smells like lavender. So that's going to be really nice to use. I hope I get to use this. The next thing in here, let's see. This is, oh, it's a little peel mask. Cute. I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing this. So this is, let's see what number this is. Number five. And this is retailed at $15. This is by Midflower. And it is for rosacea. So definitely we'll be using this. This is Belly Bomb. And yes, I actually just had questions about this as well. Somebody in my last video asked me about what I was using on my stretch marks. And I just told them I was using the normal coconut oil. Just, you know, nothing fancy. But I am so, so glad that I just got this. Because if you guys saw all my pregnancy updates, um, you guys know... Uh, that I do have stretch marks and I showed you guys in my last two videos my belly and I just have stretch marks so this is awesome I am definitely going to start using this two nights after my shower and this is the green go 100% all natural belly balm and this is retailed at $14.95 I love opening stuff So this is pretty cool because it's the same thing. It's like a bomb. It looks just like lip gloss. Oh, it smells so good. And, ooh, it's so soft. Yes, this is so, so nice and it's so oily. So I am definitely going to be using this tonight and every day until the rest of this pregnancy. Next thing in here is, what is this? Hello baby birth, oh, they're birth announcement cards, cute. So this is by the brand O oh Baby Box. So O oh Baby Box made these. They are Hello Baby birth announcement cards and these retail for $18. How cute is this? I did birth announcement cards by add-on and I actually like completely even forgot that I did them until I just saw this. So this is going to be perfect, let's see. Oh my God, so cute. So they are like blank cards and I guess you can print your own picture out and put them right here. I'm definitely going to be using these. And they say, hello baby. And then on the back, uh, it says their name and their date and time and weight and height. And I love these. These are so cute. So I will definitely be putting these away and using these because this is adorable. I love that idea. The last thing in here is Let's see, this is the Morning Sidekick Journal, and it's five minutes a day, accountability, daily progress, science based. finally conquer your mornings. Let's see what this is. This is number two on my list, and it's from Habit Nest, the Morning Sidekick Journal, and this is retailed at $29.99. Inside of this is literally a journal, and it tells you everything that you should be doing, and just like a little bit of a little bit of motivation every day because everybody definitely needs motivation in their third trimester because you know if you know you know it's rough the third trimester at the end is it's rough so this is really cool i can leave this right in my nightstand and use this and i like the way it looks it's really cute you can actually even leave it out on your table it's a cute like piece of like decoration like how you just leave books out so this is really cute. 
If you guys are interested in an O Baby box, you can go ahead and head over to their website. I will have it linked right down below for you guys so you guys can just click it. And if you use code WELCOME10, you can get 10% off your purchase. Thank you again so much to O oh Baby Boxes for sending me this box. I'm not throwing this box out because I love it. I think it is so cute. The packaging is everything. And I'm definitely a sucker for some cute packaging. Let me go downstairs and show you guys a quick belly shot and then we will go ahead and head on out. Okay, so here is my 32 week belly. I am getting so big. I actually had the hardest time finding even something to wear today. Like I felt like today was a complete disaster trying to find an outfit. But this is what my belly is looking like. Definitely have the bump growing every week at this point. Like she's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. My belly is so hard, like it is rock hard, so uncomfortable. And I can totally feel like she's just like right here, like even her head is straight right there. But that is what she is looking like. She is getting very, very big. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you again so much to O Baby Boxes for sending me my box. I completely love it and I'll definitely be recommending it to all my friends and family. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye.